What's up guys? I'm Roxette Arisa and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing this look right here. It is a music festival makeup look with lots of jewels, lots of color, and yeah, I hope you guys are excited to see how I created this look. I think it's so perfect for any festival or music festival because, be, woo, <laughs> because it's fun, but I feel like it's still like more on the wearable side, a little bit more subtle, just a little pop of, you know, extravagant highlight over here but other than that it's actually pretty easy to do as well so hope you guys are excited to see if you are then just keep watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into this video alrighty let's get into this little bad boy tutorial so I did already go ahead and prime with the Smashbox photo finish primer oil because like I said last time you're actually supposed to let it sink in like don't use it with your foundation so i already applied that so we are going to move straight to foundation and i have been loving this foundation this is the makeup forever ultra hd stick in the shade y375 yeah just kind of obsessing over it right now so i'm going to go ahead and apply it and then buff it in with a morphe m439 brush I know some people have been saying, or I've heard some people say that this foundation is too greasy, but honestly, I don't know, girl. I really like it. I have oily skin, and I still love it, um, and it has, like, really, really good staying power, and also, now that I'm on my brows, I actually have a new way of doing my brows, so let me know if you guys want to see, like, an updated tutorial or, you know, updated brow routine. To be honest, I kind of want to do my face before anything else, which I know is very different for me. Nah, who am I kidding? Okay, so for the oils. This is actually the main color or the main product that inspired me to, you know, kind of go with this color scheme, I guess, for a festival look. So it's the MAC Electric Cool Eyeshadow in Infraviolet. Look at that. I've never actually tried um, this formula before but it's really similar to like ColourPop where it's a creamy powder formula if that makes sense and I literally got this at the outlet store like they sell MAC sometimes at the outlet stores that's where I picked this up I still feel that before that I should probably go in with soft ochre just to cancel out any discoloration so I'm gonna go ahead and buff that into the lid with a Morphe R32 and as always setting that down from the brow bone to the bottom of the lid with a cream colored shade or a bone color shade this one is mac uh, blanc type for my transitional shades i want to keep with the same color scheme so i'm going to be using the dose of colors marvelous mauves palette and i'm gonna first take this shade right here which is called rosy and start to buff that into the crease in windshield wiper motions Alrighty, we can use this now and i think i'm just going to take this on my finger um just because i feel like it might get the most amount of pigmentation with that application i don't really play around with color that often so this is like so much fun for me right now um okay so for to kind of set that in place and then we're just gonna obviously intensify this a lot more and blend it out i'm gonna be using this nyx cosmetics ultimate shadow palette and it's the shade bright so obviously you know perfect for this look and i'm first gonna take this guy right here in the middle and set down that shadow that we just put down from mac okay okay nyx we see you Next up, I'm going to take a little bit of MAC Brown Script and just start to blend out this crease. We're going to go a little crazy on this crease part just because I feel like, you know, festival time is the time to do so. So I'm first just going to kind of build this up a little bit so we have a nice gradient of shades. Now going back into the NYX palette, and I'm still just using the exact same brush that I've been using this entire time, which is a Morphe M441. Um, for this kind of look, I feel like it's okay to be um, blending together the shades a little bit. So I'm taking this darker purple from the NYX palette, and I'm going to deepen up the crease even more. And these NYX shadows are honestly really, really pigmented, so don't be uh, too heavy-handed. <laughs> you want to, you know, continuously build them up, but I like that they are buildable. All right, that is going to be it for the eyeshadow for now we're gonna come back a little bit later and finish it off but um, for now I'm gonna be moving to lashes so I'm first gonna apply some mascara actually I want to try out this new one this is from Lancome and it's the um, grandiose extreme it's just so beautiful um, and then I'm gonna be using house of lashes iconic lashes after mascara 
Alrighty, now moving back to the face, we're gonna be, oh, <laughs> if I can hold everything, um, using the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. And I'm applying this underneath the eyes, down the center of the face, and then on any blemishes that I wanna cover. And I'm just pressing that product into the skin with my Sigma 3D HD blender. And you want to be careful for this look not to make the edges too sharp on the liner. So I like to use this blender specifically just because you can choose to use the sharper edge or the uh, more rounded edge. And for this guy, I'm going to be using the rounded edge. Then sticking with the 3D HD Blender from Sigma, I'm gonna set all of that makeup into place with the RCMA No Color Powder. And I'm not really baking. Um, again, I wanna keep this look pretty glowy, so I'm just kind of pressing the powder into the skin until it dissolves away. For contour, I'm gonna be using my favorite. This is MAC Cosmetics Shadester Sculpting Powder, and I'm just applying that with a large fan brush from Morphe. It's the Morphe M143. Then we're gonna blend that contour out and also warm up the face a little bit more with MAC Cosmetics Give Me Sun. And yes, this is the old packaging because I'm cheap and I don't wanna, you know, buy any more until I finish this one. <laughs> Moving back to the eyes, we are gonna like really take this up a level, I feel. I mean, I don't know, that's just where I'm going creatively right now. We're just gonna roll with it. So I think I'm gonna go back into the NYX um, Bright eyeshadow palette and start to first smoke out the lower lash line, but we are really gonna smoke it out today. So I'm gonna take that same magenta shade that we used on the base of the lid and begin to smoke it out with that. And I'm using a Sigma Short Shader E20 to begin this process. This is actually my favorite brush to use to smoke out the lower lash line. Then I'm actually gonna go in with a little bit of Makeup Geek Cherry Cola. <laughs> Thank the good lord that that did not break. So I'm gonna go in with this uh, Makeup Geek Cherry Cola to deepen up that lower lash line. This is nice, this is what I wanna use just because it has that plum undertone, so I think it's gonna tie in really well with the rest of the eyes. That didn't actually add on um, enough dimension for my liking, so I'm also going to take this purple, the same purple from the NYX palette, and then go back to our original blending brush, the Morphe M441, and blend out that outer crease. And again, I'm making it pretty dramatic just because it's festival season, you're gonna do what you're gonna do. But if you want to keep it a little bit more subtle, you know, that's kinda up to you and how you wanna wear this look. Then I'm just taking a clean Sigma E40 and blending out the edges so that it nice, it nice. <laughs> It looks nice and blended. For that lower waterline, I'm gonna be using this Physicians Formula Glide On Gel Eyeliner in the shade Champagne. My lips are so chapped. <sighs> then I am gonna add on some mascara. I'm using the same Lancome mascara for this step. I don't know, I still want this to be crazier. Like I want the lower lash line to be smoked out more, so I'm just gonna go in and do that. Alrighty, moving to highlight, uh, we're gonna be digging into the BH Cosmetics Black Light Highlight Palette, and I'm gonna be using the shade On Point to start off our highlight on the tips of the cheekbones. I'm also gonna add this shade right underneath the brow bone as our brow bone highlight. Ooh, you guys like that highlight? I like that highlight. <laughs> so I'm using the, um, I'm actually going to use a different highlighter for inner corner and then down the middle of the nose. So this is the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prismatic Amethyst, which is such a beautiful shade. Then moving to the lips, I'm going to be using MAC Cosmetics Oak Lip Liner. This is actually one of my all-time favorite lip liners. I feel like it goes with like anything and everything. And I mean, we're obviously gonna keep it pretty neutral for the lips for this look, just because there's so much going on already. So I'm using, this is, okay, you guys, this is like my new favorite lipstick of all time. I have already used like, look at that, like, okay, I have already used a lot. So this is Tarte Cosmetics Skinny Dip, and I'm just gonna apply that right over top of that lip liner. Now we get to start playing with all the fun stuff. So look, I got, I went to Michael's and I picked up like a bunch of stuff. So I'm pretty much just gonna be gluing stuff onto my face and I'm using eyelash glue. I put a little bit, if you can see right there so that I kind of can get tacky. And then I'm just basically gonna be popping 
all of the little details and stuff in the eyelash glue so it can stick to my face and then popping it on. So you can kind of do this in any order or any formation that you want. This is the part that you can be creative with. So yeah, it's a lot of fun though. <laughs> Alrighty, and once you're done, it should look a little something like this. Oh, 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 this is like highlight boho Coachella music festival style, you know what I mean? I don't know, that's just kind of what I was feeling today and you'll notice I didn't do them symmetrical. I thought it was kind of cool to leave this one a little bit more exaggerated and then this one a little bit more subtle but again this step is really up to you creatively you can pretty much place the crystals wherever you want that's just this is just you know how they laid out on me today but i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is the finished look it's my first ever attempt at like a festival look and i'm pretty happy with how it came out um i hope you guys liked it and hope you guys can take some inspo from it or use it this festival season and i hope you guys all have a wonderful time at all the festivals that you're gonna go to i'm super pumped for coachella <laughs> and um yeah i think that's gonna be it for me remember you are beautiful inside and out i love you guys so so much and i will see you in my next video I thought this was, they were like individual. No, they're like a full, full square, full square of uh, crystals. So there's that.